The majority of American cheese is made from genetically modified rennet. I posted a video on fermentation produced rennet yesterday and everyone flooded my comments with questions, so I want to answer them. Pfizer took fermentation produced rennet known as FPC to market in 1990 as the first genetically engineered food approved for human consumption. Pfizer sold their rennet assets to the Danish biosciences company Christian Hansen in 1996. Christian Hansen still uses a nearly identical process to produce their FPC as Pfizer and sells it under the patented name Kymax. According to their FDA notice letter, Christian Hansen inserts genes from a cow and camel into a genetically modified black mold called A. niger. The inserted gene starts the production of chymosin in the A. niger microbes, which are then fermented and purified. Since the genetically modified microbes are removed from the final product, the rennet is not considered a GMO product itself. Just like Pfizer, Christian Hansen received generally recognized as safe status to start selling their FPC rennet. GRAS status allows food and chemical companies like Christian Hansen to submit their own products as generally recognized as safe for their intended use to avoid the FDA's pre-market review and safety testing. Christian Hansen recently merged with the biotech and biopharmaceutical company Novozymes to produce Novonesis. From what I can find, they are the main producer of FPC rennet, which as a whole is used to make around 90% of American cheese. Their Chymax rennet contains 0.5 to 1% sodium benzoate as a preservative and also caramel color. When the FPC rennet is used, the label would most likely say vegetable rennet. This is confusing to customers because when you see vegetable rennet on an ingredient list, you assume it's naturally made from vegetables. You probably wouldn't suspect that it's made from fermented and purified GMO black mold with a cow gene. There are other kinds of real vegetable rennet made from artichokes, dried caper leaves, fig juice, ground ivy, nettles, or thistle, but these are rarely used because of supposed bitter aftertaste. So when you see cheese companies like Tillamook, who commented on my last video saying their rennet is not considered genetically engineered and is not made by a pharmaceutical company, they are telling a half truth. Like I said in my previous video, the input ingredient is genetically modified, but the end product in the cheese is not. And while Christian Hansen is not a pharmaceutical company, they are a biosciences company that just merged with a biotech and biopharmaceutical company. So why is FPC rennet used? Well, the two big reasons are that animal rennet is more costly and there's societal stigmas surrounding calf rennet, despite the fact that it's a byproduct of the veal industry. So on one hand, you would think there's no way that this can be healthy, while on the other you would think, well, the GMO microbes are not even in the final product, so how is this cheese any different? The simple answer is we don't know for sure and need more testing and research to be 100% certain. With that being said, the genetically modified black mold microbes are removed during purification and only small amounts of chymosin is used to make the cheese. Your decision on whether or not you feel comfortable eating cheese made with FPC rennet is totally up to you. Our health agencies tend to side with chemical and food companies, while I tend to be on the side of caution. And let me know in the comments below if I should make a complete guide on what cheeses are made with rennet and what kind of rennets they use.